Hi, a very good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Ask CyberArt Podcast. Today, we are very fortunate to have Mr. Tal Kendall, our product manager for our newly launched uh, product, Cloud Entitlement Manager, to join us for, in this uh, podcast. Hi, Tal. For customers and partners who are not familiar with you, uh, would you like to do a quick introduction? Good afternoon, Jake, and thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, so I've been with CyberArk for the past uh, four years, joined CyberArk uh, into uh, product management. And two years ago, uh, we opened up uh, CyberArk Innovation Labs, right uh, on, the, on the side of CyberArk Research Labs, uh, where I act as the innovation business director in general, and in specific as uh, the product manager for newly project that we incubate within Innovation Labs. Thanks, Tao. So first of all, congratulations once again for the successful launch of our Cloud Entitlement Manager. For a short, we're just going to call it CEM. And uh, would you be able to share, you know, a quick uh, backstory around CEM, right? Uh, how did we come about uh, CEM? And, uh, you know, how long did it take us? And, uh, you know, what exciting story do you have uh, behind this uh, new product? Yeah, sure. So. Uh, Cloud Entitlements Manager was um, uh, started as an as an uh, out of a research of one of our uh, top researchers in research labs, uh, Asaf Hecht, uh, who is a team leader over there. And the research was uh, focused on what new security challenges or what new you know attack paths um, are. Uh, we see on on cloud infrastructure or, or within cloud infrastructure and and you know public cloud environments in general, and that research showed that um, there are the major problem over there with you know in terms of permissions and entitlements was that uh, a lot of those environments have a, a problem which we refer to as excessive permissions, and not only excessive permissions but also leads into a point where identities within that those cloud environments uh, suffer from what we call a shadow admin effect. And shadow admin means that those identities will have uh, certain types of permission which allow whoever assumes those identities to become full admin. Uh, so that research was very interesting. Uh, it also generated a tool which is available for everybody, uh, which is called Skyarc. Uh, and then we, we started to look and talk to customers and partners and technical communities, and we understood that it's a, it's a bigger problem and a wider problem which deserve, um, let's call it a productized solution. Uh, so that's how we started to incubate that idea and transform it from a, from a research project you know, through a tool to an actual service that customers now can uh, use in order, in order to start mitigate that problem. Thanks, Tao. So for the more, uh, for the less technical uh, audience, would you be able to share what, what are business problems that uh, CEM is trying to solve, right? Uh, we know technically it is the, uh, you know, the privilege, over provision of privilege uh, in a cloud is uh, one of the technical problems. Uh, what's the business angle? Right. Um, so, you know, I think everybody are aware that with uh, cloud, public cloud, uh, comes a promise. And the promise is for, you know, infinite scale, um, dynamic environments which allow um, customers and, you know, companies and organizations to adjust very quickly to their customers' demands. Um, automation is key. You know, everything that the cloud brings with it is, is a big promise and it can help, uh, you know, businesses specifically, you know, in this time of, of uh, COVID um, to be more agile and to get to their customers more quickly. But with this promise comes a lot of, um, a lot of challenges from a security perspective, due to the fact that the scale is infinite and due to the dynamic nature of those environments, a lot of mistakes can happen when you configure those environments for your applications and you know business application, customer applications. Um, so, so 
the effect of, you know, from one side the promise and then the other side the, the security challenge that bring with it is is risk. And and the risk is to uh, the stability of these environments, uh, to it become a target for breaches uh, and attackers going into those environments and pulling off personal data of, of customers of those company. And we had a, um, a very evident case something like a year ago, where a very big financial organization lost 100 million uh, records of its customers, lost meaning it leaked into the internet because of those misconfiguration issues. So the business impact is is huge in terms of, you know, if customers do not follow the best practices and use tools in order to have complete visibility of what what's going on in that area of the cloud in the entitlement section and and if they don't remediate it. Thanks, Tao. So would you like to share exactly how CM work? And uh, you know, perhaps could we get a sneak peek at CM? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So let me start a quick uh, video that I prepared in advance. So basically what we can see here is um, you know, the main radar dashboard, the cloud environment radar, where we can actually go into uh, all those bubbles that represents cloud accounts. So whether it's AWS account, Azure subscription, GCP project, EKS clusters. And when we drill, uh, drill into those accounts, we can actually see um, in a very clear way what is the exposure of each cloud entity. And when we say cloud entity, we mean the users, the groups, the roles, the service accounts, all those that exist in the identity and access management service. In this example, you can see a user which have access to S3 bucket. And what we uh, provide in terms of the data that we provide, we provide a clear view of what are the unused permissions uh, for this specific uh, user in that, uh, in that environment, in the AWS account. And unused permissions are the is, the is the problem because if the permission is not used or entitlements are not used, why it's there? And the goal of this solution is to pro to help the customers to achieve least privilege and least privilege policy for all the different entity. So we can uh, at first show exactly what's being used, what's not being used, um, calculate it into exposure level, which is basically the risk, show the activity. And what you see here is an AWS example, but we do that for GCP, EKS, and more. The second part is actually to remediate um, the situation. So excessive permissions can be removed. And we do that by um, providing the actual policy that is needed. So the customer doesn't have to figure out, okay, the permission were not used, what should I do with it? We actually provide the specific, uh, not just recommendation, but also remediation policy. And as I said, we can do it for the all, all the support, supported uh, platform currently. Other elements that exist there is of course, uh, in the first phase of integration with Privilege Cloud, our Privilege Access Security offering. And, um, and Webhooks, as an example, are just a way to alert and uh, push information that we think is critical, like a new shadow admin detected or exposure level increased. And that, as a whole, we think provide uh, the clear visibility that customer need in those environments and the uh, way to remediate whether it's um, taking the policy from uh, cloud entitlement manager uh, manually or automatically if you want to do it through API or webhooks. Thanks, Tao. So, would you want to? Would you like to share? Right, what are the key value propositions for CM to our customers? You know, and what other be business benefits do they get with uh, CM? Yeah, absolutely. So, I think the first and foremost is uh, saving time. Um, and I start with that because we had a lot of uh, work done over the past, I think, 18 months with design partners and better customers. And the feedback that we got from the start was 
And wow, we just saved me like weeks and months of work because everything that we provide out of the box in, you know, out, out of the service in under an hour is something that customers uh, without a, a solution like that will need to spend weeks and months in order to gather all the information, correlate all, all, all the information, understand exactly what happens, and then try to work uh, you know, based on that. So we heard that from consultants, from advisories, from the IEM teams and the security teams within organizations that in order to start even thinking about the problem, they will need to start you know, a manual process that will take weeks and months and will be as accurate as the first day they started, you know? With that, with that we actually can do that in, in under an hour. And, and so that's the, the main, I think the, the first, not the main, but the first business value. Um, get your visibility, you know, in minutes, continuously get a remediation policy. And, you know, now they can keep the pace of, the developers and operations teams that are taking advantage um, of those environments and, you know, do not leave risk or security behind. So that's, I think, the, the first value that customers can get from that. The other one, of course, is related to the actual thing itself. Unused permissions will be used sometime. And they will be used by either malicious insiders or by external attackers. Um, it can be, you know, on, on a malicious intent or by mistake, misconfiguration, you know, stuff happens. Uh, so with this solution, we cloud and Titan Let's Manager, we provide them a way to stay on top of that and make sure that least privilege is enforced uh, on those environments. Thanks, Tao. So I know we probably had some early adopters and beta customers. Uh, would you like to share some of their experience and feedback? For this specific uh, project or product, uh, we started early um, with uh, first with the problem validation. Uh, so we understood there is a problem, but then you know it's it's one thing to look at it on, from a lab perspective and a research perspective, but we we wanted to validate that. Uh, so we went out to some of our uh, customers, uh, I think we, we talked to uh, tens of customers uh, in order to validate the problem. So this is what we see in the research lab. Do you see that same problem in your environment? And that was the, the first stage when we interacted with a customer early, early on in the process. The second uh, engagement with design partners was uh, all around uh, the concept validation. So we moved uh, forward when we understood the problem is real, and then we started, you know, building the concept, trying to understand what what's going to look like in twelve months. And then we went back to the same design partners and other and said, okay, this is how we think to solve the problem. What do you think about that? And, and the reactions were immediately, wow, can I have it now? Like, no, not yet. <laughs> we're not ready. Uh, but but how do you like the concept? And and, and those were pretty much the, the responses that we get. Yes, uh, I definitely need this now in order to start, again, getting on top of what's happening in those environments. And those people were, again, the identity and access manager admins, the cloud security architects, um, and the security teams, right? Um, so that was the, 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 the second phase of the concept validation. And then when we were ready with, with a, a, a beta phase or even an alpha phase, we, we just went again outside to, to our customers and, and partners and uh, our, our technical partners, our strategic partners. And we said, uh, give, it, give it a test. You know, it, it's ready for your testing. And the feedback over there was uh, consistent with the, with the ones that we heard. Of course, Different customers will like different things and we need to prioritize and we need to think about, you know, what, what's the benefit for as much customers as possible. Uh, but that's ongoing process. So now when we are uh, out there and, and the solution is generally available, 
uh, we keep getting the feedback from our customers in order to quickly respond to to what they say and what they need, um, you know, other in, in the real life of this solution. Thanks, Tao. So, you know, after it's uh, been released, right, CN has been released, uh, we get several feedback that, you know, there are other solutions in the market that kind of sound like what CM does and uh, or they think that they do, uh, you know, the same thing. So would you like to kind of share with our audience, uh, you know, how does CM stacks up against uh, this uh, these other solutions? There are other solutions out there, of course. I think it's important to understand where we are coming from and what the you know, what would this solution provide for customers, not just by being Cloud Entitlements Manager, but being Cyber Cloud Entitlements Manager. And so we're not a startup. Uh, we have a vast portfolio and we're looking at identity security, um, you know, from the identity provisioning and lifecycle all the way to protecting the, the most sensitive secrets and applications and targets on your environment, regardless if it's on-prem, uh, in the cloud, or, or hybrid environments. So that's what CyberArk does. And Cloud Entitlements Manager is part of it, uh, not by you know just the integration with Privileged Cloud or with the Privileged Access Security solution, uh, but also in the deep understanding that goes beneath it about what is uh, Privilege Identity, uh, what is Privilege Access, what is access in general, you know, what it means to have entitlements that allow you to go to different services. All that uh, wisdom and knowledge goes into Cloud Entitlement Manager. So that's, um, I won't call it a differentiator, but that's who we are and that's what we do. Uh, aside of, uh, from that, uh, there is a whole area of, of configuration security, let's call it. And uh, I think in the market it refers to as uh, cloud security posture management, where you can find, you know, other big players that are solving the problem of of the network issues within cloud environments, the configuration issues, all those different elements, and there, are, you know, tens of thousands of different elements in the configuration of a cloud environment, and they do a pretty good job over there, um, which we don't. What we bring to the table is uh, really looking at the identity level currently at the at the you know the identity within identity and access management moving forward also the federated identities and other type of identities that access the cloud and with our uh, solution and again with our background and knowledge we are able to help customers move towards this privilege, which is the you know what we believe is needed in terms of security of entitlements and permissions. So I think a combination of those two areas, from one side the security configuration management, from the other side entitlements manager, is something that customers can benefit from, not necessarily choosing one or the other, but it does combine and does bring uh, add value to to both area if you look at the problem holistically. Thanks, Tao. So, if a customer or partner is interested, uh, how do they get how do they get started with uh, CEM? Yeah, so so it's a very good question. Um, with Cloud Entitlements Manager, since it it solves the problem, you know, for public cloud uh, environments, as I said, AWS, Azure, GCP, uh, and EKS as the as the Kubernetes management service in AWS. Since it 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 fits into those environment, we thought that first of all, it should be a software as a service solution. And second, it's really a, a self-service solution. So you can actually go to cyberog.com and, and go to the, the product page, Cloud Entitlements Manager, and you'll have a free trial. And free trial means that you have 30 days and you can um, you know, take a test on all the features within the, the service. And the, from, from the minute you hit try until you see, you know, this, um, this view and all the data that I showed in the demo, uh, it takes under an hour to get all, all, to get all the recommendations and, and remediation policies. So we're really focused on making it as easy as possible. <coughs> Sorry. 
as easy as possible to consume in order to deliver uh, the quickest time to value, which, which we believe. So that, that was a, a full explanation about how to start using it. But basically, cyberhack.com, under the product page, free trial, and we welcome everybody. Thanks, Tal. So is there any difference between the uh, free trial version as well as the production version if they were to buy or subscribe? So at this point, no, there is no difference other than the time limit. So we, we provide customers the trial for 30 days. They can connect as many accounts as they want to, and they will get absolutely everything that we, that, uh, that we have in terms of recommendation, remediation. There's no uh, limits or you know, less functionality in the trial version versus the, the one that they're going to buy. So if a customer were to subscribe for 30 days and they fix all the problems, uh, what, what would be the value proposition for them to continue subscribing ongoing? The problem is there and it increases if you don't take care of it continuously. Since those environments are, are not static environments, so if you think about on-prem environments, you'll have a server, you'll stuck it in a rack, it will stay there for at least three to five years before the, you know, the next hardware refresh. You have your application, everything is quite stable and, and static. And on those environments, you probably could do a scan or check your entitlements every six months and nothing will be too alarming. In these environments that we're talking about, since it, the, the scale is infinite and the dynamic nature and developers will have ideas and, and bring up new workloads on a daily basis, and the configuration changes and entitlement changes are happening daily, if not hourly, uh, and you know this is what we know from, from customers and from ourselves at CyberArk, this is how it works because of all the benefits of those environments. Um, not being on top of that continuously on a daily basis will mean that you do 30 days, you fix everything. In day number 32, you might go into the you know, same situation as 30 days ago. So it's really up to the customer to adopt this kind of, of a security mindset and say, okay, those environments I need to continuously scan it. So uh, 30 days, is meant for you know to to test not just the ease of use and how you can onboard accounts, but also the accuracy of the data. Uh, if the remediation policy that we provide actually makes sense, and the way to consume it, we think thirty days is quite enough to do that. And then you know if if, if a customer will choose to say, okay, I'm I'm done, I fixed everything. I think we'll we'll see him again in in a few weeks later where we actually need it to, to run continuously. Thanks, Tao. Thanks for the great session and uh, for sharing all these uh, valuable details. Uh, for our audience, you know, do uh, join us and uh, give uh, get a free trial of uh, CM. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll hope to see you again in one of our future episodes, Tao. Thank you very much, Jeff, for the opportunity and, uh, and, and for the chance to talk about Cloud Entitlements Manager. Thank you very much. Thank you.